Do you want to be able to see how long you spend on one particular Ableton Live set? It's possible now via a Maxwell Live device of mine called Time Tracker. You just get the device, you might store this in your user library, that's what I always suggest. And then you just drag and drop it, for example, on your master track, which makes sense because then you are not accidentally deleting it. So it's counting down three seconds and now you can see it's already counting you have a pause here as well and the cool thing is now if you want to see the total time so um, if you close this Ableton Live set the current session gets stored as an entry and if you open it up you can see the total time down here gets calculated as well so you can see all those entries entries with the times you spent on here you just open up the um, view here and you press on time export and now you can export all those different entries into a text file and this could look then something like this so you get like all the different sessions with the times and the dates so if you want to observe like um when you're working on it, like what's the current session? How long did I work on the current session? You get a pop-up window here. You can open that here. Let's um, get rid of the second one. So you can open that here and you have this pop-up window which you can place anywhere you like. You can put it on a second screen or what's really nice, uh, you can put it up here and you can zoom um, the pop-up window. You can save its position. So for example, if I put it up here and I press S for saving, um, I can press pause. I can decide if I want to have the top bar being displayed or not. I have to double click on the T here. Or I just do this down below here in the device directly. So I can decide if I want to see the current session time or if I want to see the total session time. I just select total here and you can see now it's showing me the total time I spent on this project. So this could be really handy if you say like, well, actually, I only want to work three hours in total on this project and you can start evaluating like the time you're spending on different tasks here quite well. So for Mac users, you will get uh, opacity here as well. This unfortunately doesn't work on Windows so far. Um, so you can now save this position. So so for example, if we get rid of the top bar, so it fits quite nice in here, in your uh, Ableton, uh, in your whole Ableton Live view. You can now save this, or will be saved in your project. But another way on like making sure you always have this happening would be to set this up um, to be always present in your default Ableton Live template. So for this, you want to get a new device in here, drag and drop it onto the master track and when you can access the pause button, press pause once. So now the time calculation is paused. So what I'm gonna do now is I go to files, I go to save live set as the default set or you can save it as a template. So for example, I save it, I want to, I don't need to copy any files here and I can now save this as my untitled default Ableton Live set. So if I now press enter, it will overwrite my Ableton Live set. So if I know the default Ableton Live set. So if I now press um, open up a new Ableton Live set, you can see this device here is present here. Now I might want to have this not paused anymore. I might want to have this um, running. So I will need to make sure because this entry will be in there as well if I now uh, open this. So save as default live set. I don't need to copy that. Just press enter. So now I have this happening in my default live set. So if I open up a new Ableton live set, you can see um, it's opening up and I have all my tracks, all my default things happening here. But um, on the master, I got this um, time tracker device happening here or counting the time already. So this way I can make sure that my time is being tracked. So you need to have the device in there in your Ableton Live project from the beginning, obviously, otherwise it can't track the time you spend on here. So position of the pop-up window will be saved as well in the default Ableton Live set. And then you can come back to all your Ableton Live sets and just 
print out the different entries of date and time you spent on there. Okay, cool. So just if you don't know, this is a Max for Life device. Max for Life is needed to make use of that. Max for Life is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. So this won't work with Lite or with intro version of Ableton Live. You can always get the free full suite tri trial for three months um, and then get my device and then um, try out if this is worth the investment for you. Okay, so get the device. Um, links are in the video description or just head over to ablettonrama.com. See you there. Bye-bye.